Welcome back to the Modern American Farming Map, version 2. And we were harvesting for one thing, we and we were cutting grass. And let's go take a look where we were. There's the grass. And we still got quite a bit to pick up here. And where's my combine at? Let's see. There's one. Oh, he needs a little fuel. Where's the other one? He's uh, needing a little fuel too. Okay, and let's take a look at... Oh, that's right, we were having trouble with this trailer. Now, let's see if we had... Um, what field is this? This is uh, 9, field 9. Okay, so let's see if we can go to field 9. And was that truck field nine? There we go. Right there. And before we drive the course, I had a recommendation by um, somebody that watches my videos that perhaps that problem that I'm having where this truck is trying to eat his own trailer is a result of course play not having the... Uh, the turn radius big enough so let's see it's only 10 meters the turning circle so let's pop that up let's do 20 meters double it and see what happens and see if that uh, causes us any issues and we'll keep an eye on him and see why he keeps doing that it seems to me like it's only the one truck let me check this guy. Uh, and he's in... Oh, he's also in field 9. Alright, so we're going to have to um, make sure that he is with the right combine. We'll assign him a combine. Okay, so it's probably going to be that one. Oh, not that one, the other one. The other one, that one. Oh, wait a minute, that's the corn one. That's the one we want. Right there. Okay, so we'll keep an eye on him, see what his turning radius does, and if that helps him out any. Uh, and then, let's get this guy started. This is field... What did I say? Oh, they're both in field 9. All right, so we need to just have him drive the course. And let's check and see what his radius is. Now, he's only 10, too, so let's pop him up. All right, so he looks like he's doing okay. The other one needs to be unloaded. Let's go unload this guy. Is that up or down? It's up. Okay. That's a lot of grass. So, I had... A uh, subscriber, I think it was William's Eye. Let me check. Now that sounds a little funny, William's Eye. His name is Williams and then the letter I. Not I like an eyeball. But um, let me make sure that's who was um, telling me this. Because I hate to get it wrong. Makes me feel bad. Okay, uno momento. I guess I can keep driving. I just won't be able to steer very good. Uh, right, let's take a look and see who it might be. It wasn't William's Eye. Sorry about that, Williams. 
Um, it was Jeremy Varner, and I apologize to you too, getting the wrong name. Jeremy Varner uh, sent me a little message, and he said that he was recently in Ohio and was talking to a farmer because he noticed that there were fences around the fields, just like in this uh, in this uh, map. And he asked him why that was. And the farmer said that they, they had to do that to keep the people, people, off their crops. Not animals, but people. Because the people would go out and destroy their crops. So they had to put fences up, up to keep the people off. So evidently people were just driving out into the fields whenever willy-nilly so they put fences up to, up to keep them driving into the fields. Isn't that something? Those are the same people that get all upset when there's nothing in the grocery stores to eat. Duh. Haven't you heard that old saying about that you don't see an animal crapping where they sleep? Well, people aren't as smart as animals, I don't think. And that may be kind of crude, but take it as you will. Yeah, yeah. It's surprising people, the way people are. It's just, you know, people in general, it's, uh, all right, where, where, did I need more grass in the machine here? Um, yeah, people kind of funny. It's like, uh, yeah, we do need a little bit more hay in there. Um, so anyway, it, yeah, they'll, uh, you know, they go, they go all upset about somebody uh, killing an animal, you know, like a cow or sheep or something for food. But they'll go in the grocery store and buy it. How do you think it gets there? And yeah, they don't realize where their food's coming from sometimes, I don't think. You know, what would people do if they had to go out and butcher their own animals? You want bacon? Go kill a pig. Oh my God, I couldn't think about doing that. Well, we did a lot of that on the farm. I mean, I raised pigs. We raised pigs. We raised more pigs than we did cattle. Um, but yeah, butcher time. That's why we didn't take uh, name the animals. We didn't name them. It's, you know, because there comes a point where you know, that's going to be your dinner. Oh, God, we're eating Daisy. <laughs> so, you know, we just didn't do it. Now, when we were little, little, little kids, yeah, we took a runt pig in once in a while and bottle fed it. And Because I've said this before, but back in the old days, the they would just take a hammer and smack the runt in the head when it was born because that runt was small and un un unhealthy and was taking the food that the healthy pigs could eat and and thrive on. So they didn't want that runt, you know, taking food away from a good, you know, uh, productive pig. So they smacked it in the head right off the get-go. Well, we're little kids. We couldn't, we weren't going to smack a pig in the head. And so we took, you know, once or twice we'd take a little, you know, piglet in, feed him with a bottle. A until they got big enough and then we'd put them with the rest of the you know, um, rest of the pigs, but, you know, mostly they didn't do stuff like that because they didn't have time. They were in it to, you know, fatten up pigs and go to market and, you know, they couldn't mess with runts. Which one's grass? That one on the left there. Yeah, that one is. But that's what, that's what you did, you know. And, uh, yeah, if, if people, and I'm talking people in general, if people in general went to a farm, they probably wouldn't eat food anymore. <laughs> oh my God, that was a live pig and you just killed it. Yeah. All right, I'll get off the grody stuff. I guess I should go check. Now, let's see. Uh, both combines appear to be working. Okay, so that means the trucks must be working. Let's go check on them, though. That guy playing well.
Uh, no, one of them was assigned a tractor. Was the other one? This one was. This one I don't think I assigned a tractor to. Let's make sure. Let's see which one is he going for. Um, he's going for the right one. So we should just probably tell him that's that you're doing it well. You're, go you're going for the right one. Maybe. There you go. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt your work there, truck driver. That one over there looks like he's playing well now. Who was it that told me that? I wonder. I'm not sure. Some of the comments that I get... Oh, here it is, here it is. Um, yeah, it was... Um, oh, God, I'm going to mess this up. Uh, Arabidmus? Arabidmus. Moose like in, you know, squirrel and moose. Um, he's the one that told me that uh, perhaps the trouble I was having with his truck was that the radius was turned too low. So thank you for that. I hope that solved the problem. It looks like it's working so far. Sorry, I'm laughing because that last person I was talking to, uh, the moose guy, uh, I, I had to apologize to him. But I often say, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing this right. So if you correct me, now I can get it right. So which he did. It's three words, his name. It's a rabid moose. So there you go. He also gave me in 2015 a suggestion. I don't know if you're watching the 2015 map. But I'm playing the winter map, and every time I log on, those little uh, blue question mark things are floating everywhere. And I turn them all off, and the next time I come back on, they're on again. So he gave me a workaround for that that he thinks is going to work. And um, so, you know, we'll, we'll see. Hopefully that works. Oh, God, what else should I be doing? The grass guy. He's in the way. I thought that was... Oh, it is! What was that guy stopped for? Where's my beacons? There we go. Do you guys miss 2013 at all? Since you've been playing 2015? Or are you still playing 2013? I mentioned I just did a 2015 one. Um, I've mentioned this before. Normally I have, you know... Oh, at least a half a dozen videos already recorded and ready to go. Uh, because I record so many videos. You know, if you, look, if you look at most YouTube pages, they're doing one or two games. And, God, I'm doing half a dozen at any one time. And it takes a lot of time. And a lot of times what I'll do is I'll just play, um, you know, three or four hours and then break it up into two or three episodes and get them rendered and get them ready to go so that you know, when I'm ready to, to do it, I just make it make it live online and you get to see it. Um, I've been so busy. I mentioned this in the last... Ah! Okay, okay, right there, right there. Did you see me hit that car? I missed that. In 2013, I missed that. In 2015, if you hit a car like that, it'd be like hitting a brick wall. Nothing happens to the car. It doesn't even move. But your your vehicle just bounces off of it like it's, you know... Uh, shooting bullets at Superman. I missed that. I don't like the AI cars in 2015. The only good thing about the AI uh, cars in 2015 is with the new patch that they just had, you can actually go in and turn them off so you don't have to have the AI cars. Now, I don't mind the AR car AI cars. It kind of brings a little, you know, a bit more uh, immersion in the game, realism. Um, they are a pain in the butt when you're using course play, but I've never had that big a trouble with them. 
Uh, so, did I have this running? I did, didn't I? On course play. But anyway, I missed that. And now I don't remember what I was talking about before that. You know, it's like a squirrel. All right. Oh, I was talking about all the videos I make. Sorry, I had to cough. Anyway, um, I don't have any videos. Absolutely none. Well, okay, I'm lying. Um, I have about six or seven Minecraft videos that I put up. Um, because Minecraft's one of those things where you can sit there and dig for hours. and You know, and so I have a bunch of those going, and they're easy to record. Minecraft's about the easiest one to record there is. I mean, you know, as far as, you know, gameplay. It's completely open world. Do anything you want. And you just let the darn thing, you know, record or run while you're playing. Um, but anyway, I don't have any videos. I've been playing EVE. I got back on EVE, um, the space game. And I haven't played it in, I don't know, three years. But uh, Stockelgloss has been playing it. And it got me interested, and I went back and tried to find, you know, my old accounts, and I couldn't find one of them. And it's too bad because it's one that I had worked way up, and I didn't have the opportunity. I, you know, you can call the company or write the company or email the company or send the company a Santa letter, you know, whatever, the mammogram, a candy gram, however you want to send them something. But you have to have a couple of things. You have to have the email address. You have to have the the credit card or what, whatever you use to pay for it, because they want to know that it's you, right? Okay. They gotta have. You gotta have your username. You gotta have your password. I haven't played for so many years on that particular account that I couldn't remember. I couldn't remember what my username was. I couldn't remember my character names. Um, I couldn't, I, I've probably had, well, right now I've got six email addresses, and none of them are ones that I had way back then. Uh, so I just had to kind of give it up, uh, which was okay. But what I did was I, I, I did find one of my older accounts that was only, uh, let's see, this one was only three years old um, because I made it just before I quit playing. And... So it wasn't very high level. It was uh, I was just doing a little mining with it, and that's all I do in that game, anyways. Mine. Um, I'm not very good at PvP. So anyway, I started playing again, and I created uh, two new accounts. So I have three accounts running, and I've got two miners and a hauler, and I'm um, I've just been playing you know six, seven, eight hours a day, and I haven't been recording anything. And I sat down for dinner tonight, and I thought, oh, my God, what am I going to put on for tomorrow? And there was a bunch of noise. The kids are making a bunch of noise in the house. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to lock myself in my studio and just make a couple videos, which I'm doing, and I need to do anyway. One of these days, maybe close to the weekend. Oh, shoot. I'm going to have to sit down before the holidays because I'm going to be busy. Family's coming. I'm going to be busy during the holidays. i got to sit down and make a bunch of videos and to have them ready to go. The ones that are easy to make are the open world ones. Uh, they're the easiest ones to make because, like Skyrim and Fallout New Vegas, because generally, if you're going to sit and play those games, you're going to sit and play for hours anyway. Wow, look at that truck go. He's motating. So, like I said, you can start the recorder and just record. A couple hours later, you just break it up into parts. Uh, the uh, Euro trucking game, same thing. If you're going to make a trip from, say, Germany to Great Britain or Scotland, well, there's a couple hours right there. So you can easily break that up into two or three episodes. I wish there was an easier way to do this, uh, this hay. I can make silage out of it. But I want to stockpile it for the 
So I want to buy cattle pretty soon. So I want to get this feed going. Uh oh. This door isn't big enough. You need that big airplane hanger door over on the other side. You know, why this was put inside is I'll never know. Why'd they put this thing inside? That's sure a pain in the butt. Well, for one thing, your camera won't go where you want it to go. Uh-oh, lined up with silage instead of hay. Oh, 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 I haven't seen that before. If I, see if I can get the camera going right. Look at the mix. The feed's mixing over there. I just can't quite get the camera right. Jesus. <laughs> I just unhooked the trailer. Oh, God. There we go. All right, why isn't it giving me a trigger? Where's the trigger? There it is. Well, that leads me to believe that I should be able to come right straight up into it. If the trigger's that far out, look at that. Yeah, I should be able to just drive up to the side. Hey, I wonder if I can do a course play route. Well. It'd be a tight turn there, wouldn't it? I'll have to try that. Yeah, see these doors are too small. You need a great big airplane hangar door like that one. If you're going to be pulling equipment in and out. Like that. And, or, and, and, the door should be on this end right here. So you can just kind of drive straight into it. But then you couldn't because they put the bunkers there. Never mind. I forgot about that. Let's go check on these combines. Oh, they're getting close. Alright, let's see. We got this guy. I need another tractor, don't I? Why is that guy sitting way out there? I didn't leave him out here, did I? All right, back him back in here. Okay. And let's see if I can remember how to turn him on. It's this one. Well, I know you can turn him on by talking dirty to him. Oh, baby, come on. You can do it. Scoop up all that silage. Um, but that doesn't work for me. I love this little machine. I'm just going to leave that guy sitting right there. And, well, he's filling pretty fast, though. <laughs> They're both filling at the same time. Cool. Gotta love it. Now, you know, this is something here. It's nighttime, and look how bright it is out. Of course, it's not oh dark hundred, but I guess the sun's still up. Never mind. It's it's not quite oh dark hundred yet. Okay, let's get him back working. I'll have to try that. Next time I come in with a with a uh, load, I'll have to try to see if I can come s straight in, and then have enough room to flip a Yui and see if that'll hit that trigger. Because that, that sure saves some time if I could set a course play up to do that. You gotta get some feed. I should put some of this hay in the, uh, and silage in with the cows because they're 
starving to death. How many cows do I have anyway? I own a hundred sheep? Really? Where are they at? Oh, I've got wool to pick up. Uh, I got 57 eggs to pick up. I have beefs. Beefs. I have a uh, hundred beefs. Or no. Do I have a hundred beefs? Because it doesn't say like anything's happening there. I, I, maybe I don't. But I have a hundred cows. Those are the milk cows. They do have water. There's milk in the in the can, and there is mixed rations. Where did I get the mixed rations to feed them? Huh? Interesting. Didn't know I did that. Why well, I'm a better farmer than I thought. Uh oh, what happened? Oh, collision course. Prepare for ramming speed. Okay, we're almost done. Well, you know, whether the Fence, whether the fencing is good or bad to be on this field, whether it's the right thing to do, whether it's realistic or not, doesn't really make any difference. When I put those headers in, made grass around these fields and stuff, it sure, what am I doing? It sure made it easier. Um, let's see, of course, <laughs> I must have started recording, of course. Oh my God, we're almost out of fuel. Do I have the titty truck in this game? I think I do. There's that one. Let's button this booger up and get some fuel. Uh, yeah, let's uh, let's get him buttoned up. Let's go to this other guy. He shut himself off. <laughs> I have some um, programmable keys programmed for Farming Simulator 2015 and I just accidentally hit one. Man, that guy took off for the fence. He's quite pushing my buttons. You like the Wizard of Oz. Who rang that bell? I did that one time when I was at work. Scared the holy snot out of some woman. We had it at, at this place I was working, uh, the, um, well, it was a post office. Anyway, uh, they had a Dutch door, and I was working in the back one day, and and somebody came and knocked, and we, we used to have them, you know, come knock on the door, or kids would come over and look at the little door. You know what a Dutch door is? It's a regular door that's cut in half, and the top part opens up, and you can lean out. Oh, you remember in The Wizard of Oz when Dorothy goes up and smacks the uh, big knocker on the door 
and the guy jumps uh, and opens this little portal window, sticks his head out and says, who rang that bell? Well, we did that one thing. We did that one time. I had this Dutch door, and somebody was out beside that door. Some little kid or something was looking at the door. I can't remember really what it was, and I heard them, so I immediately I, I threw this Dutch door open, and I looked, stuck my head out, and I said, who rang that bell? And this poor woman, I thought she was... I think she wet her pants. I scared her so bad. Oh, it was hilarious. I used to do that every once in a while. Somebody would come in, into the post office and <clears throat> open their mailbox up and their post office box and try to grab mail. And uh, I'd see him, so I'd grab the mail from the other end, and I'd let him pull it out a little ways, and then I'd kind of tug back on it. And they'd pull a little bit more, and I'd pull it back <laughs> until they figured out what the hell was going on. And then they'd say, oh, God, really stop it. And so one woman got me, though, after I did that to her. Um, the next time I'm in that section doing mail, and I used to uh, work on the coast. I used to wear shorts all the time. And... You know, so I'm working back there in the back, and she's getting her mail. And her box was a little bit lower to the ground, and she reached in and pulled the hair on my legs. I just, I gave out a squeal like some little girl. <laughs> it was hilarious. And then she's out there laughing like hell, said, I got you, I got you, for what you did to me last time you <laughs> Oh, it was funny. Good times. All right, let's see. Where do I want to put this equipment? Someplace out of the way. Looks like a good place, Danny. Let's just run it up here and stop it right there. Turn it off. Oh, left this guy out in the cold. Ha 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 ha. mod. Where's the entrance? Oh, way up here. All right. So how far do we get in this field? We get, uh... We got pretty far, I guess. Alright, let's get it started. Let's get this party started. Kick this pig! There we go. We'll just start him there and he'll find his way. He'll find his way. Need to get I really need to get another tractor because this pickup isn't really meant to pull this. It does, but I don't think it's meant to. Let's go feed some silage to the to the cattle. Is that a water trough? That's a water trough, isn't it? Yeah, I tried to put seed feed in there and it wouldn't work. No wonder. Let's see if we can put. Uh... All right, let's see. I well, didn't like that. One of those must be for grass or straw or something. Let's put some feed in here. See how much it'll take. Wow, it takes a lot. Wow, it took the whole load. Huh, well there you go. Get something to eat now. Don't complain. Quit that mooing all the time. What the hell? Act like nobody's fed you. You know, that don't look like no hunter cows to me. Not really. And I noticed when you start this game that you only you only have so many fields, and you can't buy the fields in the game. You have to go to their web page to buy the fields. Is that is that right? Did I read that right?
If anybody's playing this map, let me know, will you? Because I hadn't really tried to buy any new fields. Okay, let's see. Get him backed up. There you go. Something's in traffic. What's in traffic? Really, what's in traffic? Oh, sorry. Let's move the uh, Star Trek Enterprise out of the way. Company. Let's put him in the driveway. All right, so this guy's done. And we'll try and see if we can do our little trick. If that's the case, then the next time I mow this lawn, I'll start a course play course to automatically unload. Okay, here we go. Loop de loop. Yeah, it's getting dark now. I was wrong. It wasn't nighttime yet. It was late at late evening but not quite night because now it's getting dark but still it's kind of bright must be harvest moon the old harvest moon now the fields that you do have are pretty good sized fields but now look out there there's no little icon to buy that field I hadn't noticed that before and you know Let's, let me, hang on, let's, how do you get to that, I don't remember now, there, let's see here, okay, uh, welcome to MAFM version 2, make sure you stop in at UM Real, Realty to familiarize yourself with them, oh, there's a real estate agent, I read it wrong, I read it wrong, I thought it meant to go to their web page with the map and also to purchase any additional fields you may want. All right, got it, got it. Never mind. So there's a realty office in town. Well, that's kind of cool. I mean, it always didn't, uh, you know, it never did make any sense. You have to drive in the middle of the field and there's this floating icon, you know, by the field. That's not how it works. You got lawyers and real estate agents and insurance companies and all that kind of stuff to deal with. Escrow agents and blah blah blah. Well, harvest is done. We're finished with the grass we mowed. We have um, feed mixing. Looks like the liquid cow manure is uh, is working. I want to go in here and see if this is for grass or straw. There's another trough in here. I think it's for straw. The, the, the you know they use straw for bedding. In this game, it makes you think that they're eating the straw. There's nothing in straw to eat. Yeah, that must be for straw. Although I've seen some people's hay looks like straw. It's like, oh my god, you need to reseed. Put a little clover in there, alfalfa or something, because your grass is like dead and dry. There's no nutrition in it. All right, let's see if we can drive in here and hit a trigger with this grass. Uh-oh, not there. See what I mean about the camera? You can't see. you got to get really in here to be able to see where you're at. But let's... Let's see if I can get in here close enough. Grass is not accepted there. Yeah, I didn't think it was. Right there. Will that work? And then, if I can, if I can make it around, I think I can make a course out of this. What did I hit? Yeah, dang it all. This trailer's got those wanky wheels that turn. Oh man. All right. Let's see. Let's see if I can 
if I drive a little bit farther into the barn, you know, like here, and then turn, there, that'll work. I think I can make a course out of this. So, I think I'm not going to dump this grass. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a course and then see if it works. If I dump the grass, I won't have any way of knowing whether it worked or not. You know what? I can make a... How? Never mind. I'll just do the whole course. I was going to say I could just make a quick little loop in and out the building to see if it works, but that's that's fine. I'll just do the course. What the hell? If I do the course and it works, then I'll have to redo it. If I do the course and it don't work, well, case or off or off, whatever will be will be. Me and Doris Day will see. Case or off or off. Was that? Whoa! I just about cut my head off on that cutter right there. I tell you, I'm still used to Idaho map. Every once in a while, I want to drive through that fence, and I can't do it. I've tried. You've seen me try. Okay, so this is where the start is. So if we whoop around here and just start a course recording, let's see, we're going to do one of those guys, start the course, time. Only got two minutes. All right, get out of my way. Oh, man. So now, if this is 2015, you're stuck. At least in this game, you can get it behind them and whoop them out of the way. Well, unless you're going really, really straight, then I'll just let him go. Otherwise, they slow you down. You can't do anything about it. Stupid cars. Oh, look, there's another one just like this one. They're clones. Oh no! Oh, you just messed my course up! You stupid car! Yeah, like it was a car's fault. You stupid car! Okay, let's see. That's, uh. Oh, yeah. People do that. People do that. They do stupid things and blame it on somebody else, like I just did. It wasn't his fault. I'm the one that did it. But people are offended, you know, it's like, why did he do that? Yeah, you don't think it was because you were riding his butt? Oh, it couldn't have been my fault. I'm in the right. No, you were tailgating and you hit him. You were too close. It's kind of like, hey, you know, if you're a criminal, don't take, don't take this the wrong way. But you, you're a criminal and you're robbing a bank and you shoot a guard or something and a cop comes in and shoots you and you, you're dead now everybody's all upset that oh my god you killed that guy um, 
you know, he, he, he was a nice guy. No, he was robbing a bank and he killed a guard. Like these old westerns, you know, the bad guys. Come on. Damn it. In the old westerns, the bad guys, you know, there's there's always a family of bad guys, you know. Oh, man, I'm stuck. How did I get stuck? I can't get out of here. <laughs> it's because of that stupid camera messed me up. So anyway, there's always a, a family of bad guys, and one of the bad guys gets killed doing something, and then the whole family comes after the guy that, you know, the poor guy that, you know, that got him. I can't get out. Help, I've fallen and I can't get out. All right, well, I'm going to have to end the episode here. When we come back, I'll have it fixed because I'm stuck. In the meantime, I hope you had fun. Happy farming to you. If you enjoyed it, share it with a friend. Make sure you like it. It helps me. If you haven't done so already, subscribe. There's no reason not to. And I will see you in the next episode.